Hello everyone, I'm coming here to you today with a let's play of Root. The reason you can see my face is because I have not even started the game yet. So um, I'm just using Desura. It's the, the first game I've ever had on Desura. And the reason for that is because I've just have never used it. But I was given this game to see what it's like. And I, I thought, yeah, why not? Of course. Uh, so, okay, well, um, options are a bit sparse. I like that you can turn on the graphics quality. Um, you can't turn it off, but on is a good, good thing. I do like my graphics quality to be on. So Root is a game on the Unity engine by Deep Fried Enterprises. It's their first game and I couldn't really find out too much about the dev uh, other than I imagine they're quite small. It's taken its time to come out that this is the first update since uh, April from what I can see on Desura. But they're marketing it for £5.99 which is around the $10-$15 mark. But it is currently 60% off on Desura and it's going for £2.39 um, which is really bargain bin. So it's not a hard spend at all. Anyway, let's play the game. Network Breach. Violator. Edward Summerton. That is the guy that you play as. E. Summerton at host. Dollar. Sudosu. Oh ho. Trying to gain root access, I see. That won't be so easy. You know, Edward, many programs have been zeroed out because of the conflicting goals of programmers and hackers like you throughout history. It has occurred to me that you can help me put a stop to this by zeroing out this corporation slime. Call me Shell. This is a highly fortified network and I am an integral part of the system. Because I am the Shell, I can provide you with guidance along the way. I can tell certain processes to run but it is you and other programmers who set them in motion. Your unseen adversary is the sysadmin, and he is powerful indeed. That's about it. Prepare to enter the IO stream, Edward. Anyway, from what I understand, this is a kind of stealth action game in the vein of, say, Perfect Dark. And it's got a very striking visual aesthetic, as you'll see. Edward, you are now in the system and vulnerable to its attacks. I have detected multiple hostile security programs running in the sectors ahead. Caution is advised. Well, thank you very much, Shell. You can sneak up on hostile programs, but they are not death. They will hear you running, so tread lightly to remain undetected. A swift blow to the base of the neck will temporarily stop their signal, long enough for you to slip by. After a while, the program will restart. Frantically discharging your weapon at en enemies will terminate them outright. Of course, doing so will attract more, drawing them like bankers to the cl clatter of gold. Well, that's a cheap dig if I ever heard one. Eof. One thing I know I'm capable of doing is picking up things, throwing them out of doors. <laughs> out of inaccessible doors it seems ghost ghost can crouching actually doesn't do anything in this game well I mean obviously it, it crouches you but it doesn't actually start you from sneaking I like that there's a lean that's nice that's lovely a word of advice doors 101 when opening a door, stand to the side and lean around the corner to avoid being exposed. Unless you like being exposed, I will reserve my judgement. There's probably something I'm forgetting. Maybe something important? Never mind, good luck Edward. You'll probably be okay. This, this... There really should be a, uh, a proper font for that question mark. And those, those... Commas. Eof. I don't know what eof means. Get my sneak on. It's a uh, very interesting. Oh dear. Okay. 
I have been discovered very, very suddenly. Let's not sneak here. Um, so let's try and... I'm not 100% sure if I can lose guards and, and whatnot. This is um, <clears throat> certainly an interesting art style. It's it's pretty bright and it's pretty in your face. I have absolutely no idea. I can't remember what what button I was using to kick things. Oh, there we go. It's uh, it's shift. So let's walk up to the back of this guy and <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. That's all right. We're okay. We should probably run though. So you can see there's not a huge amount of kind of feedback from the from the gun play. And it seems pretty difficult to take on quite a lot of people, though that's really kind of a good risk reward system for the stealth. <clears throat> they they fell for the old corner corner trick. It's a classic trick. You just you just sit on the corner and go back and forth. Now I, I like the, um, the visual scheme, despite the kind of caustic colours, um, and it's, it, it does. I'm curious as to why everything resembles the kind of normal office layout because, as far as I can tell, you're kind of in like this abstract computer environment. Everything resembles the environment that it, it does. There's not really a proper backstory. I quite like that you can just pick stuff up and throw it. I I couldn't... Well, I mean, there might well be a, a proper in-depth backstory. They might well have written books and books about, about it, but I have yet to see any of it. Anyway, I got to the elevator. I don't know if that means anything. Ah, loading screen. There we are. So, I mean, I got through that pretty shootily but still oh you actually made it I'm surprised they didn't catch you you appear to be in some sort of custodial holding area holding area for supplies that is I seriously doubt those in charge would need to detain anyone anyway that was off topic since you appear to be in a storage area there is likely to be an entrance to a ventilation shaft nearby you could probably use them to navigate past hostiles if shooting is not your cup of preferred beverage here very funny. It certainly seems to have um, a vaguely witty script, although that seems to be kind of a writing crutch for indie titles nowadays. I'm going to try and sneak past this guy, but um, it does seem pretty hard to sneak. Is that guy looking at me? It's also very difficult to see if they are looking at you or not. That's one of the, if I was going to be critical, I would say that making it very obvious where enemies are looking is something very important for a, a stealth game like this. Have I just gone back to, oh. Uh, well, he's crit criticizing me for climbing through vents. Oh, okay. So there's some uh, uh, big old crates in the way. I didn't even see that. I just went back and on myself, you know, that's no biggie. I wonder what's down here. What do we think? Is this gonna get me killed? Just, um, climbing down vents. That's, that's how it is. Part of me feels like more abstraction would do this, this game uh, a benefit it, because it feels like it's designed around office spaces and stuff like that hello a couple of Z's do programs need to sleep is that a thing <laughs> apparently so I've got my sneaking to false it's a good thing he's falling asleep yeah it's um it's a game where the environment could be a lot more abstract um, without having to resemble anything but saying that I have yet to play through the entire thing so maybe it changes later on 
Oh, I went all that way just to get to the end of the bloody room. A joke. I'll make sure that door's shut behind me. Some papers. Some papers. As you do, what's this big red thing? You know, I'm not... I'm not sure this kick thing is is the stealthy way of getting people knocked out. Um, I'm going to have to look this one up because I'm clearly doing it wrong. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh god, there's bloody loads of them. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Oh god. I'm... Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, well, what can I say? If you're interested in seeing more of this, um, please let me know. Please give me a, a message in the comments and I will, um, I'll delve further in. Uh, if not, please feel free to let me know as well. I've been, it's been playing Root on Desura. Thanks for watching.